everybody, it's Wendy, and today I have for you a necklace using these hand-painted lucite flowers. So I have been making, and please excuse my hands, as you can see, I've been making them, and I can't get the paint off, but um, I've been making these hand-painted lucite flowers, and I think they're so pretty, they turn out looking like stained glass. And so I have three here, and I'm going to do a necklace using these today. Now, I've not made this necklace before, so let me throw in this disclaimer. I am going to be winging it as I go. But I thought I would film it because I have these for sale on my website. And pretty much all of the products to make this necklace, um, or several of the products, let me say it that way, to make this necklace are for sale on my website. So... Um, first off, I have these loose light flowers, and they're in like a bazillion different colors. They're up on the site. Um, and then I'm going to be using these little loose light flowers as well as accents. Now, these are up on the site in a lot of different colors, too. And these are just little tiny tulips, and I think they're so cute. And then as well, up on the site, I have these petals. And I'm going to be using these in this necklace as well. There's several different colors of them. Um, I'll be using these bead caps for the big flowers. They're on the website. And then I'll be using an assortment of medium and small bead caps. Um, now, all of these are not up on the site, but I do have some different bead caps up there, so you can check those out. Um, I'll be using these 8mm bicones and these 4mm bicones. And then I've got a piece of chain here. Now, let me move this stuff out of the way. Um, this chain is big chain it's just it's an old chain that someone gave to me um, gifted me so I'm gonna be using this to make the necklace and it's all one piece but I will be cutting it um, and attaching with a lobster claw for the closure which I have laying out here there it is you'll need some jump rings of various sizes you'll need some eye pins and some head pins and your normal jewelry cutters. Now you don't have to use chain that this is this big. This is just kind of what I wanted to go with for this necklace, okay? So um, go ahead and get your stuff together if you wanna make this and we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to make our big dangles for the lucite flowers. And um, this is super easy. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take an eye pin and a flower now, um, one thing that I do want to be sure of is I want to make a dangle hanging down out of this. So I want it to be long enough that you can see it below the eye pin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the dangle first, just because it's going to be hard to get up in there after we have already put this on the eye pin. So I'm going to use these sparkly little bicones. And I'm just going to put one on there. And I'm going to make a um, little dangle out of it. So I do want it to hang down kind of far. I just made a mess, didn't I? So I'm going to leave a little wire about, oh, probably, I don't know, this much wire. And I'm going to bend it at a 90 degree angle, just like that. Okay, then I'm going to take my cutters. And again, please excuse my hands. I know they're stained with paint. <laughs> but... I haven't been able to get it off yet, so that's the way it's got to be. Okay, and then we're going to roll a loop back, just like this. All right, so there's that. Now, I'm debating, I may want to put a couple of dangles on each one. So let me grab out either another color of bicones or some rondelles. Hold on just a minute. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with these little pearls in this green color because it'll draw out the kind of the grass green in the lucite flowers. So I'm just going to get a pearl, and I hope this head pin is thin enough to put one of these on. If not, I might have to grab a thinner head pin. I do have um, these ball head pins in here, but I kind of hate to use them because I don't like to do wrapped loops on some things. I think they look kind of messy on jewelry sometimes. Um... But no, that pearl went right down on there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the pearl. And probably just the pearl by itself. Now, I want it to dangle a little bit either longer or shorter than this one. So I'm going to move on probably up here a little bit to make this loop. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and cut it. 
and create the loop. Okay. So I did the flower earring tutorial the other day and I wanted to do a necklace tutorial just so you can see the variety that you can use layering these flowers and layering bead caps with these flowers. Okay, now I'm going to take my eye pin that I'm going to put on my flower and I'm going to hang these two directly on it. Just like this. And close it up and just make sure it's closed really good. Okay, so there we have some little dangles. Let's go ahead and put this on and see how it looks. Oh, it's very cute. Very, very cute. Okay, I like the way that looks. Now I'm going to take my bigger bead cap and layer it onto the flower just like that. And then I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do here, so I wanted to look a minute. I think I might layer this bead cap next, face down, just like that. And then I kind of want to do maybe this one face up and this one face up. We'll see. Or upside down, I guess you would say. Yeah, that's going to create a really pretty layered effect on this flower. And then I have this big bicone I'm going to put in here just like that. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and make a loop. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love these Lucite flowers. They turn out so pretty. Okay, and I'm going to roll this back. Whoops. Goodness. I did that. It like completely flipped on me. <laughs> okay, there we go. Alrighty. Just make sure it's closed real good. And, oh, it's so pretty. Look at it. I love it. Okay, so we're going to do a total of three. And these are sold in my, on my website in sets of, of two. Because if you want to make an earring, you've got to have two. <laughs> um, so if you wanted to do this necklace, you would either need to just do four dangles if you wanted or just two. You could just do two. But um, they are sold in sets of two because of the fact that um, you, I originally was using them to make earrings, so I figured you need two. Okay, so we're just gonna, I'm gonna do another dangle like this, and you know what I may do? I may add a little, let me see what this looks like to put a little bead cap on down here. Oh, that's cute. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna make it a different length. I'm gonna make it about that long. Cut this off. I'm not doing anything scientific with the lengths on these. I'm not measuring or anything like that. I'm just kind of winging it by sight. Um, I don't think they need to be super precise. I mean, if you want to measure them, you can. And just make sure that's closed up, which it's not the best to do this with your chain nose pliers, but I'm lazy, so <laughs> that's how I'm doing it. All right, and then let's pick up the bicone. Yeah, that's good enough. I don't want to make it too busy. And we'll go ahead and make this one a little bit longer. Yeah, about like that. And they won't hang too much differently. Not as much of a difference as that first one, but they'll still be just a little bit staggered. Okay, and let's roll this loop back. Just like that. Okay, and now we're going to take another eye pin. We're going to open it up and put this on. Both of these. Close it up. And go for our next flower. So let's put him on. These turn out so pretty. All right, now let me see on this one. 
I may do this. I don't know if this will work. Let me look at this. I'm just trying to change it up a little so they're not all exactly the same. But I don't know. Yeah, this one's not going to want to go down over top of that one. It's going to look stupid. Okay, let me fix that. Well, I guess we'll, we have to put the long one on first. Okay, push him down a little. And then... I might do this. Yeah, I'm just trying to change them up so they don't all look exactly the same. That's all, but, you know, you can do them however you want. I'm going to do it this way and put this on here. Yeah, that's cute. Okay. Now let's make the loop. Now when you make these loops, and I actually might stick a bicone on top of there. So we'll see what this looks like on there. Oh, it's pretty. Okay. <laughs> when you make these loops, you do want to make them down close to your bead. Um, because you don't want this wobbling around and having a lot of room to, to move. So try to make this fairly tight. I mean, you don't want to crush your bicone, which is what I may end up doing here because it doesn't look like I gave myself enough room. Let's see if I can do it. But yet, yeah, you want it to, to be tight enough. Oh, it's okay. To where everything's not moving around a whole lot in there. Just make sure it's closed up real good. Okay. So there we have two absolutely beautiful... Beautiful flowers. I love these. Okay, and I'm going to do one more. So, what do I want to do with my dangles on this one? On this one, I think I may do... I'm going to do this little bead cap facing down. I love to do these this way sometimes. And then I layer another one on top of it facing up. And I think that is so cute, the way it turns out. I really like that. And I'm going to do a bicone on top of it, just like that. See what a cute little, just makes a little cute little dangle. And I might make this one a little longer. And this is all just your creative control. You can do whatever you want. I'm just giving you ideas. That's all. Okay, there's our loop for that one. And let's see, let's do a little pearl on here, whoops, a little pearl on here, and I may just do a bicone on top of the pearl on this one and see how it looks. Yeah, that's cute. Let's do that. And this one I'm going to make kind of long. I may need to trim that back just a little. Okay. Alright, let's go back here. Make a loop. And we're just going to do the same thing with the others. We're going to hang it on the bi count or on the eye pin. So, as you guys know, I started back to work this past week. And uh, it went well. I'm having to relearn. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, but yeah, it went well. Um, it was good the whole week. I, I've only been working 12 to 4. Um, but I've really been doing some business on the website. And I thank you guys so much for buying things on my website. Um, I talked to Chris this morning. I'm actually, you know, if things keep up like they are on the website... I may actually just quit my job um, and and focus on the website and everything because it's really, really been, uh, business has been good on there. And yeah, so I'm kind of excited about that. Um, I would love to be able to do that. That's been the dream, you know, to be able to quit my job and just work from home and focus on my website. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but I did. I wanted to thank everybody who has um, supported me on there. I really appreciate it. And uh, I've been staying pretty busy with it. <laughs> so, yeah. But I'm really enjoying that. I'm enjoying working the website. and um, But going back to work wasn't bad at all. Um, you know, we picked up right where we left off. And <laughs> it's like we were never really gone. So, um, everybody's doing good. And... 
We um, do have some abbreviated hours, and the store part isn't open yet again. I don't, I'm not sure that she's going to open it back up, but we've been doing filling the online orders, so it's been going good. All right, so we have three absolutely beautiful lucite flower dangles here. Oh my goodness, these are so pretty. All right, so what I'm going to do is, let me get these out of the way. We're going to make a bunch of smaller dangles too with these little tulips, but First, I want to see how that I'm going to lay these on this chain. So let me move some of this stuff just out of the way so we can I can lay this chain out here real quick. Get these little snippets out. Okay. All right, move those out of the way. Whoops. Okay. So what I'm going to try to do is I would like to do this, just have a long piece like this and hook the chain together like maybe right here kind of like this and then have the dangles hang from there so this chain is already just hooked together by jump rings so i think i'm just going to take a jump ring and i'm going to hook it right here um we found a fairly thick one that's not too big I don't even know if that's an open jump ring. I think that's a, that one's soldered closed. Okay, let's try this one. This one looks like it might be too. Maybe not. No, it isn't. Okay, so I'm just going to hook this, this together right here. Or I'm attempting to. <laughs> I think I'm going to. Maybe I need to open the jump ring a little bit more. <laughs> there we go. All right. I'm trying to do it this way because I don't, I want it to lay flat, you know, so I want to keep them laying like they should be. There we go. All right. Pick those two up and just close this jump ring. Just like that. Okay. So now, and it is going to wiggle around because it's held, the whole thing's held together by jump rings, but um, I've got that hooked on there, which is how I want it. Okay. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to dangle these from it in random ways. So I think this one I'm actually going to dangle up here from this jump ring. Let me grab another one. Uh, let's use a bigger one. Okay, and I'm just going to hook this right here to this jump ring. I'm not even hooking it directly to the ring on the necklace. I'm just going to hook it to the jump ring, and we're just going to see how they go. Okay, so that's pretty. Now, I need to do one down, so maybe like right here from that jump ring. Okay. And I think I might do it directly... No, I'm going to do it right on that jump ring. Okay. So here's what we've got. That one just hangs a little bit lower. And then, let me see. How do I want to do the next one? Yeah, the next one, I guess I'm just going to go back up to this jump ring and maybe I'm going to move this one down just a little bit. Or maybe make him hang. No, I'm going to move him down one. I'm going to put him right here. Because I want there to be a little variation. I don't want them just all in one clump. Okay. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Okay, and then this one, I'm probably going to do from that jump ring, no, because I don't want them hanging right on top of each other. Yeah, I'm going to go right there with it. And those two will be kind of parallel. Or maybe I should go up here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go up there one and then just hang it with two jump rings. So it hangs a little bit down, but not as far down as this one. Does that make sense? I hope. <laughs> it 
It makes sense in my head. <laughs> I hope it makes sense to you all. Okay, so let's do this. Let's hook this, put this jump ring on here. And then let's do the smaller jump ring. Maybe it's not smaller, it's not, but, and we're gonna go from right here. And that gives it a little bit of length, so it's not up too high, but it also doesn't put it all the way down to the bottom next to the other one. Okay, now let's see how it's gonna hang. Oh yeah, it's gonna be really pretty. Okay, so it's important when you're doing this that you lay these out the way that they need to go, just so it hangs right. So when you're putting all your other pieces on, you know, it'll hang exactly like you want it. So let me pick up some of these jump rings that I've got scattered out everywhere, and I'm gonna scoot this whole thing down a little, okay? And straighten this chain out just so it's laying even and like it should be. Okay, now this is flipped. I don't know if I should, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this off of here and make sure I put it on the back side accidentally or maybe I flipped the chain, I don't know, but I want this on the front side of this. So let me just switch it, that way I'll know that it's right. If I can find where the jump ring opens, that is. There we go. Okay, now let me lay this like it's supposed to go. I thought I had done that, but maybe. See, this flips around so much because it's got these jump rings. Okay, there we go. That looks like how it's supposed to lay. Let me just make sure I get this in the front. And even if it flips, um, hopefully it'll flip back to the front and be right. Okay, there we go. Yeah, oh, it's pretty. Those are so pretty. Okay, now, um, I like this one on the bottom. I'm gonna take this link off, these two links off the bottom. I don't really want those two extra links hanging down there. So let me do that really quick. I'm just gonna open this jump ring, not flip anything around, but I'm just going to remove these bottom two links because I don't need them on there. You could make some earrings out of them. And then I'm going to put this back, just like it was. Okay. There we go. All right, I love it. I love the way this is looking. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to set this aside for a minute. And we're going to make some dangles with these little ones. Okay, so let's just pull everything up here that we've got. And these petals, I'm also going to do, um, I'm just going to actually probably just hook the petals onto some jump rings. I'm not going to do anything fancy with them. I'm just going to put them on some jump rings, and that way I can hang them on the, and I'm not even going to close them. I'm just going to lay them up there like they're ready to go on to the necklace. It is raining again. I cannot believe it is raining again. We have had... <laughs> The rain, oh, it is raining again. We have had so much rain in Fayetteville. I had gorgeous flowers, let me tell you. My flowers, I was so proud of them. They were looking awesome and they have drowned. I mean, there we've had so much rain. It is unbelievable how much rain we've had. Um, the garden's liking it, like my vegetables are growing fantastic, but all of my flowers, they're just drowned. They look they look terrible. I feel so bad for them. And there's nothing I can do. I can't really, they're nailed or they're screwed down to the um, banister on our deck rails in the pot. So I can't really bring them in, but they look horrible. So it's kind of sad for them. And we've actually had like paths made in our yard by the water that I've never seen before. We've had more rain I mean, we lived here last spring, and it did not rain nearly this much. This, is, I think, has been way, way more than last year. Of course, this is only our second year here, so I really can't 
<laughs> judge by much, but okay. So I put all those petals on there, and I'm going to create some little dangles with these guys. And what I'm going to do with them, I think, yeah, I'm going to use some little, well, okay, here's what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to create some dangles with these. So let me make just several little um, bicone dangles, and I'm not sure if I'm going to put the green pearls. I think I'm just going to do the bicones. And I'm not going to do them very long, okay? I'm just going to do them little like this. See, so just tiny, just barely above the edge of the bicone. Because I don't want these to dangle real long. I just want them to be a little decorative underneath these little tulips. Okay, so there's one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an eye pin and I'm going to take a tulip. Well, let me attach this to the eye pin first. I'm going to take the eye pin and put my dangle on it. Just like that. Oops, get on there. Close it up real good. And then I'm just going to take it up into the tulip. Oh, look how cute. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to put a bead cap on. And I think that's all. I don't want to overdo it. I want these to be simple. Okay, and then I'm going to make a loop out of them all. Or a little dangle out of each one. So just making the loop and rolling it back like normal. And you want to make these kind of tiny. You don't want them to be huge. The loops, I mean. So, just make sure it's closed. It is not. Okay. And you're just going to make a bunch of these. So, I've got two, four, six, eight. So, I'm going to make eight little dangles, just like this. I'm going to do them all exactly the same. And then I'll come right back, okay? So make your dangles. Okay, so I'm back. I've got all my little dangles made. And I've got my petals on jump rings up here. And I've got my necklace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my necklace and I'm going to lay it just exactly even of how it will be when it's being worn, okay? So this is how... And I've taken it apart at the top, like I cut it apart at the top, so it is um, no longer just one piece. I made it two, okay? So when it's being worn, this is how it's going to lay. Let me twist these and get them maybe to where, yeah, they all need to flip over. You just kind of want it to be laying flat, and you want it to be laying how it's going to be laying when it's worn, okay? Okay. And I think I've got it pretty good here. All right. So now what you're wanting to do, this one just keeps flipping. Oh, hold on. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. So now they're both laying flat. And as you, if you can see, these are staggered. Okay. So what you're wanting to do now is you want to take your little flowers and your petals and you want to just attach them. I'm going to attach them to the jump rings that are already on here just um, randomly. Like, I don't, I don't want them all to be even. I want them to be kind of spread out and random. So I'm going to go ahead and get a jump ring. And you probably want to use small jump rings for this. Okay, so I've got a little jump ring here. I'm just going to open it up. And I'm just going to take this little tulip and I'm going to attach it but make sure that you attach it to the top. That's why you needed to lay out your necklace exactly like you want it to go when it's worn, okay? Because you're, you want this little flower to be on the top, not on the bottom. So when it's worn, it'll hang right like that. And I'm going to grab my glasses. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to do a petal on the other side here. So I've got my petal, it's got its jump ring on it, and I'm just going to go up a little and attach the petal right to this jump ring. And I'm sorry if my hand is in the way, but I kind of have to, to do it this way. Okay, just like that. And there's our little petal. 
Okay, now I think I will put a little flower right above it. So let me pull this down so we can see. Okay, I'm going to put a little flower. Um, don't want to do, I'm going to go a couple above the petal, like right about there. And grab a jump ring. And just attach the little flower right here. Just like this. Okay. And I'll go back when I'm done and make sure that all my links are closed up really well. And I'm going to go ahead and attach this flower right here. So I'm kind of staggering things. I'm going to put another petal up here. Um, but I'm just kind of staggering them a little bit. So I'm going to put this flower right here. Okay, just like this. Okay, I'm going to pull it down some more. And I'm going to do this petal, get it back on the jump ring. Um, I think I'll do it right here. I'm going to go up a couple and just attach it right here. Okay, just like that. Pull it down a bit. <laughs> And I've got an eye pin or a head pin stuck in here somehow. Get that out of there. Okay. Make sure your necklace is laying flat. Mine keeps flipping. This one side does. Now this side's flipping. Which, if you have a normal chain, you won't have this issue. This is just because all these are attached with jump rings. Okay, there we go. Alright, now I'm going to attach some more flowers here. I'm going to do another flower. I think I'll go right here, right above that petal. Just like that. And I'm going to do another flower on the other side. Well, that one's not attached. Okay. <laughs> do another flower over here. And I'm going to go right here and do it. Okay. Let's pull this down. All right. Um, time for a petal, I think. I think I'll go ahead and do a petal right here. Let me turn it over. I kind of want them to hang this way. Okay, and I'm going to do another petal on the other side. Oh, I've already got them on jump rings. I don't know why I keep grabbing jump rings. Okay, um, I think I'll go right up here and do this one. Right here. Okay. There's a couple petals. Now I'm going to do another flower. I'm going to do the flower right here. Okay, just like that, and let's see, I guess I need to do another flower over here, might do it on a little bigger jump ring. I kind of like to vary the size of jump rings sometimes because it makes them not hang 
exactly the same, you know, like they hang a little bit differently, a little bit further up or further down, depending on how big of a jump ring you use. Okay. Oh no, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> it fell off the desk. Okay, so I've got that one on there. And I'm actually not going to do another petal. I'm just going to do another flower right up here, I think. Probably go right up there to the top. Let me pull this down so you can see. Yeah, right up here. And we'll go ahead and just put this flower on right here. And I'm going to leave it at that. I'm really liking the way this necklace is turning out. Okay, now we need to put our lobster on. So I'm going to take a couple of jump rings. And I'm going to hook them together. Hook them right here to this one. Okay. I'm just creating a little chain here just to give it a little bit of, I don't know, just so the lobster's not sitting right there on the very edge of the top there. And I'm going to go ahead and put this lobster on. Where did it go? Here it is. Right like this. It's going to go right on here. Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to take a couple of larger jump rings or... I'm going to do, see what size did I use there? Did I use this size? No, a little bit bigger. This one. Okay, so I'm going to take this one and do the same thing that I did over there, over here. Just so it's cohesive. And then I'm going to hook this big ring to this one for the lobster to clasp in and I did not need to open that because that one was already open but I need that one open so I'm going to do a bit of an extender um you guys know I like extenders <laughs> I just like to make sure that everybody can fit the necklaces that I make so let me find a piece that'll work for this there's one Okay, I'm just going to add an extender on here. It's just an OCD thing with me. I like to always put extenders on, unless it's like a super long opera length necklace or something that can just fit over your head. Because, I don't know, I just like the feeling of knowing that anybody could adjust it to wherever they want it to go. Okay, so there's that. And now, see how this has this little, I don't like this little dangle on the end. So I'm going to take it off and put, is that a closed jump ring? That <laughs> jump rings, that link is soldered. I'll have to cut it off. Cut that off of there. Come on, cutters. Goodness, these cutters are, all of my cutters are terrible. Look at that. I won't even cut that little link. Oh, there it did. Okay. Well, it gnawed it. <laughs> it didn't really cut it. It kind of gnawed it off. Okay. And I'm going to take the petal here, this petal, and I'm going to attach it right here on the end. And then I'm going to attach another little bead to it. So let's put this petal on here. And then I'm going to make a little dangle with this green little pearl. Man, my fingers look terrible, don't they? <laughs> Hope that comes off before church tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Let's make a little pearl dangle here. Just like this. Open it up. And I'm just going to attach it to the top jump ring here by the pedal. Of course, I didn't open it far enough. And attach it right there. Okay, just like that. And it makes a cute little dangle on the end. 
So we can clasp this right like that. And this is an absolutely adorable little, I love this necklace so much with these Lucite flowers. And I have so many colors of these up on the website. Um, you guys go check them out. I'll put this on a form and take a picture for the thumbnail so you can see the entire necklace because I know you can't see it on here. But it really, it turns out beautiful. So yeah, check out the website. A lot of these products are up there. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and it inspires you to want to go make a Lucite flower necklace. So you have a great rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!